Hi guys, welcome back uh, to this uh, uh, Laravel Laravel uh, video series. All right, hold on. Yeah, I think I like this better. I have a ring light here there at the back, and it's, uh, my eyes is sensitive to light. So, yeah. All right, so let's continue working on our, our project here. So we're on the nav bar that blade that page B. I'm going to update the link. Forward slash is the home page. All right, so it's we're gonna be paid. Maybe I'll put my name here, Jerome, Jerome Crud. And for the home page, it's not home anymore. I'm putting this about forward slash about for the link. And here is the services. And here is the uh, yeah services course right and we're, I, I need this one we need one other another of this link um, here it's supposed to be blog and right over here it's going to be posts okay we did not create that one yet we're, we're gonna be creating that later all right so yeah refresh the page let's see about services blog okay and this one right here the drop the this disabled uh button the drop down we don't need that so we're, i'm gonna be deleting this and this also the search bar we don't need it delete that and this button i'm going to convert it into anchor tag and set the href the reference to uh posts forward slash create okay i'm gonna i'll explain that later okay refresh the page create and this is not source anymore it's supposed to be new new post okay all right refresh the page okay new post okay so yeah when we're going to add a post this is the button that we're going to click all right so we're good with the nav bar i believe and let's try to uh, uh we are now able to load the index uh we need let's go let's go back here in the pages controller and we need to pass a data okay this is how you pass the data into our pages okay uh so we're, we create a variable called intro and we'll say here it's a string variable okay a variable that contains a string uh, welcome to uh, the best CRUD tutorial ever. <laughs> even, even me, I, I doubt that. Or, but anyway, so, and yeah. So we're, we're using here a variable. We're, we're, the way to pass that in, our, in Laravel, you can see here with, and then you can say intro and then intro here okay and to uh, now we can use this intro in our index that bladed php and if we will say here h1 and then you say uh yeah in, in laravel instead of in php we do echo and then the variable but here you'll just have to use uh, double uh, curly brackets and we can put the variable inside that and then when we refresh the page uh, as you can see this is the the string uh, which is uh, uh, contained in this variable intro but I don't want it there at, at the top so let's update our master that blade at PHP uh, I'm gonna be creating a div uh, this is my content Okay, and I'm putting, I'm going to say yield uh, main content. Okay, the main content is like the component in react.js. Uh, Alright, so I'm going back here to index that played at PHP, and we're going to be using this main content. Okay, the main content, uh, we're going to say here uh, section. Okay, all right. I have an emit that's why it's autocomplete and I'm, I'm going to say main content and then I'm putting this h1 inside 
in this section refresh the page now it is in the place where I want it to be of course you can up, uh, use since we're using bootstrap you can use bootstrap classes just like display for to make it bigger but I think I'll just use uh, hold on we'll put this variable inside the P with the class of lead and for the title welcome or hello world hello world okay hello world welcome the best the English is actually wrong welcome to the best crowd tutorial ever in Laravel <laughs> okay so yeah we, 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 we can center this using the uh, um, bootstrap class right so by you can do that by say doing hold on let's go back to the master that blade at PHP and we can say here text center and it's centered right so but I don't wanna I wanted to demonstrate to you that uh, to use the custom CSS so I'm not gonna be using the bootstrap way of centering so we can go back here in uh, the public and then CSS uh, okay collapse that right click new file a uh, custom that CSS I'm going to install this uh, in using a, a custom CSS uh, code all right so but of course we want to make sure that it is uh, linked to our master that blade that PHP we can just copy this paste it right over here and rename this to custom that CSS so custom that CSS I have a class that's called content if you, re you remember that and then let's just try uh, if it's working background color red refresh yeah it's working so I'm going to set uh, you know what let's put some good uh, background okay let's pick some nice color uh, how about this I like this okay let's put it right over here refresh the page yeah I think I like that and the color for the font should be white and let's put the text shadow text shadow uh, one pi one pixel uh, black okay let's just use the RGB RGB colors black yeah I think I like that and let's set the height to 100 view height and I wanted the display to be flex I'm gonna be using flex and flex uh, direction is column and I wanted to align the items to the center okay refresh the page and uh, I wanna justify content center so it would be at the middle okay that's what I want maybe the height I'll make this 80 view height refresh the page and yeah I like that you like that guys I like that I think that's good enough uh, for this uh, video um, nine minutes uh, I want to put a button here so in our index that blade at PHP you can say button alright so we can actually do this button that btn that btn lg that btn primary tab and then uh, what do you want to say learn more yeah learn more see okay we have a big button learn more right over here I think that's cool but I want to use the anchor tag instead of button all right so we can link it uh, easily to our 
to the page that uh, we wanted to route to. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, guys. My English is not very good. But yeah, we are just a trying hard dude. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, that's it for this video. And we're going to be continue uh, working on this one. Yeah, just a quick recap. Uh, so what we did is we demonstrated that we can use a custom CSS styling in Laravel. Okay, and we also uh, updated our navbar. Okay, uh, information and we have created this new post. And we, yeah, uh, did we create the controller in this video? I don't even remember. I already need coffee, guys. So anyway, see you in the next video. Uh, so we can finish the CRUD application. Thank you for watching.